Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Under the NLP series, today we will be looking at bag of words BOW. So, what is bag of words? Bag of words is a simple effective model used in NLP, that is natural language processing, and text mining. The basic idea is to count the frequency of each word in a document or a sentence, ignoring the sequence of words. So, we know that in a sentence, you will have a collection of words. So, the repetition of words, right, in a particular sentence will be uh, taken into account. That is what we call as uh, number of occurrences or number of frequency. Okay, so number of occurrences of a particular word which gets repeated, right? So, that count is what we what we will be finding in bag of words. So, let us now start the coding part. To work with NLTK, first we have to install it. So, you can use the command pip install NLTK and then we can start importing the libraries like import NLTK. Okay, then we will import word underscore tokenize from NLTK dot tokenize. So, the purpose of importing word underscore tokenize is nothing but to break down a particular sentence into text or a token. Okay, then we will import stop words from NLTK.corpus. What is this stop words? These stop words are nothing but those are the words which are available in our English dictionary. Okay, and if those words are removed from a particular sentence, the meaning of a sentence will not change. Okay, now we will import the counter from the collections module. This specialized container allows us to count the occurrences of elements in an iterable such as list or a string. So, this counter is nothing but it will count the uh, number of occurrences of a particular word in a particular sentence or a list or a string. Let us now provide a sample text. Okay, here. Okay, so let me import and then, yeah. So, once it's done, okay, let's provide a sample text. Here, I have provided the text as the sun rises early in the morning. Casting a warm glow over the sleepy town and this sentence I am storing it under the variable text and then I am converting this, this particular sentence to lower case like if any text is there as as a upper case then it has to be converted into lower case. So for that I am using text dot lower and I am going to print the particular text so let me uh, add it yes if I am printing this text so you can see the word the that is the first letter of the is, is in uppercase, so I have converted that into lowercase. Okay, the other words are already in, in lowercase. So I'll be importing the punk kt package for word tokenization. So once this is done, so from nltk.tokenize, I'll import word underscore tokenize. And since we have already the, uh, done this, okay, we have already done there on the top, so it's not necessary to include. Okay, so this uh, then we will add this. We will add the word tokenized towards the te text. The text is nothing but the the text what we have provided here, right? The sun rises. Okay, that will be taken as the input for this word underscore tokenize, and it will be stored under final. So let us print the final and check. So see here, the whole sentence has been broken down into independent words. Okay, that is nothing but the word tokenization. So once the word tokenization has been apply, applied, we need to remove the stop words. So for that, first we have to download the stop words from NLTK. Okay, so once that is done, we have to set the stop words dot words. Okay, that is nothing but we have some collection of words in our as a default in our English dictionary. So we have to first set it. So for that, I am using like this and I am storing that under, under stop words. So here is a collection of words. So let me print this. Okay. So you can see here we have some collection of words here. So since we have to scroll down like this, so I have added an image here. So this is an image where we have some collection of words and which are also referred as stop words in from the English dictionary. So we have to remove those words. So for that, okay, I'm going to run this particular cell. Here I'm going to assign an empty list towards the result and then I'm going to run the for loop for word in final. So we know what is final. Final is nothing but the original sentence okay which we have broken down okay you can see here 
this is sentence which we have taken down right so so considering all of them okay under this for loop okay and if word not in stop words okay so those words whichever we uh, we have referred right so like the sun rises okay um, let me show you here the sun rises early if those words are not in our stop words okay then we have to append it to the list for example let us take the okay you can see you can see here okay we have the here as a starting of a sentence this the is is available in our in our stop words so if this is available then we will not we will remove this okay from the uh, from the sentence so we will not add it we will not add it to the empty list so those words which are not available in the stop stop words we will consider that and we will add it to the list one by one so that's why we have given as result dot append of word so one by one we will add the words into the particular result and let us print the result now so you see those words which were referred as stop words has been removed for us and the remaining has been displayed here okay so once we have done the stop words we have to create bag of words b o w so for that we need a counter here okay counter of the result nothing but the previous one right the stop words remo uh, removed right so we will use this one so now see here to the each words here a counter has been applied like you can see that it has sun one rises one early one morning one so here uh, this back of words has taken it as a dictionary okay let me show you here let us, so to explain this let me explain you clearly here so we have some bag of words represented by a dictionary so the bag of words which is given here right okay it is represented by a dictionary it means the output of that is nothing is nothing but it's a dictionary type so here we have a independent word like sun colon 1 it means the number of occurrences 1 so the number of times the the particular word has occurred is nothing but 1 arises 1 early 1 so like this it's in the form of a particular dictionary now that is what we have printed here and i have shown this to you let us execute this particular line so we have something called for word comma count in bag of words dot items so what is this bag of words dot items okay so bag of words dot items function displays a list of dictionary key value pairs as tuples so if you see here this is the dictionary right okay this dictionary has the has two values one is key okay it's a key pair the key and its value okay so now when we assign something called bag of words dot items okay so what happens is you can see here for a given bag of words that is bag of items could return dictionary underscore items so it will now return as a tuple so though so it means this particular okay this particular key, key pair has been considered as a tuple now or as an independent tuple and this is what will be uh, stored as bag of item bag of words dot items so you can see here each of them will be considered as a tuple now as an independent tuple okay so each tuple in the returned view object represents a word and its count from the bag of words dictionary okay so each of them this word and the number is nothing but the count so here the sun comma one is nothing but it indicates that the word sun appears one time in the text similarly if you consider as rises the rises one indicates that the word rises appears once in the text okay so it is clear right okay let us come here okay and then this uh, word uh, this word underscore count is nothing but for word comma count this part unpacks each tuple from the list of key pair pairs returned by the bag of words dot items so bag of words dot items will return you a tuple and this tuple will be broken down okay so that is what they say say it as unpack they will unpack and they will give it they will give the output for us as as like this okay 
it will unpack and first will be referred as our word and the next is nothing but the count of the that is the number of occurrences so each tuple contains a word key and its corresponding count value from the bag of words representation okay so we, we are done with the bag of words this, this is the final okay occurrence occurrence of a particular text in a particular sentence so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel 3d multimedia thank you